It was one of those things, man. You know, both teams came out, you know, after two scrimmages, ready for their season opener. You know, good ball game starting off. I love what we did offensively the first two drives. First drive, we capitalized and put the ball in the end zone, really able to sustain ourselves and control the clock and, you know, just put a drive together, and it was really nice. It was a hard-fought game going against a very strong Phoebus team. Um, my defense stepped up uh, tremendously, uh, recovering fumbles, tackling in the backfield. Offensively, we tried to get some things together. Things didn't work out. Hey, Phoebus got a great defense. But, hey, first game of the season, you know, uh, no more victories. But, hey, they beat us 41-6 last year. We brought it to 13-8 to eight this year. So, look, we're looking like we, uh, we're going to be getting better for the rest of the season. Uh, tonight's game, it was, it was a tough game. We expected to come out here and blow this team out by at least 50 points and even, even more, honestly. But we just, we just had a rough time, and it, that's coming from practice. We slacked off in practice. We BSed around, and we just need to fix that. How do you guys improve after a game like this? Well, it's one of those things. I mean, you, you learn from it. You know, there were a number of things that happened. We had a couple of key guys go down. We had some young guys step up, and they didn't do bad, you know. It's, it's little things that we were struggling with. You know, it was nothing major, so the little things you can clean up. There, it wasn't physical effort tonight, and that's what I like. It wasn't a physical situation tonight. It was more of a mental situation. So, you know, you can put this situation on guys in the film room and really clean it up and point out some mistakes that we made. And, you know, going into next week, I mean, I'm confident that we can get that stuff clean. Hey, we're going to improve on special teams, offense, and defense. Trust me, by the end of the season, we're going to be a strong playoff team. Your defense really set the pace tonight. Can you talk about those guys? Hey, man, defense is awesome, man. Keep on coping, number 55 on the D-line. Anthony Hunt, defensive end, a terror, a monster. Hey, be on the lookout for these guys over in Portland. Tonight's game plan was to come out strong, put our, put our defense out first. That's, that's our strongest thing right now. And when our defense comes out, we want to put our offense back out there and give them opportunities to score. Defensively, they call themselves a big brother. So it's one of those things. They know that no matter what, that if the ball game has to lie on their shoulders, they're comfortable with it. You know, so we have some guys out there, very opportunistic, you know, playmakers, guys ready to do their job and do it well. Hey, we just need to go back to the drawing board and go back to our bread and butter stuff. You know, we schemed a little bit tonight for Phoebe's defense, but we're just going to go bread and butter and see what works. Honestly, we just need to improve on our, our turnovers, penalties, and, and just staying focused and right, coming to the line all the time hard and just keep pushing ourselves. I mean, this game's about lining up properly, making your reads, communicating, flying around, and just flat out making plays. And uh, tonight, outside of that one broken coverage, defensively, we were able to do that. Expectations, honestly, we need a, we're going to get a ring, regardless of how we're going to get it or what we got to do to do it. We're going to get a ring this season. What is it going to take for this team to get back to the state championship? Uh, honestly, just, just stop the plan and push ourselves, come to practice on time, not talking back to coaches and just doing what we're supposed to do at practice. Well, you know, the turnovers, number one, it kept the guys in the ball game. You know, we threw a couple of picks, should have never happened, just not being very smart. Um, however, we can clean that up. Now, penalties, we expected that. Season opener, you know, we didn't get a lot of it during the scrimmages, so it's one of those things that, you know, it just all comes at you at once. So, you know, we can look at where we made mistakes at, and we can clean that up in the classroom while we're going over film, and we can make sure that, you know, come next week, we're not making those same mistakes penalty-wise. What's the mindset of this team? Mindset of this team, honestly, we feel like we can beat any and everybody. Like, nobody can compete us, and it's 7-5 in the country, nowhere. Any team that we go against, they're going to have to go through us. I know this is week one, but how does this group of guys get back to a state championship, uh, semi semifinals in the state championship? Well, it's one of those things, man. You can't judge yourself by how you start. Everything is about how you finish. And even though you want to come out and have a strong start, you got to understand that this game is not won after your season is not is not proven and is not won based off of one game. You could come out here and it could have been the exact opposite. We could have come out here and we could have lit the scoreboard up and we could have got ahead of ourselves and we could have been missing a lot of my, a, a lot of little details that could have later caught up with us in a big game. So, you know, you look at this moment and you can always say, well, you know what? It might have been against a team that we felt we should have been able to run away with, but you can never underestimate your opponent. The game was close. It went down to the wire. So at the end of the day, if we find ourselves back in that same position, we can hang our hat that we've been there before. This game is about experience. Experience helps you grow up. Experience helps prepare you for the long run. So I like it, man. I mean, if our goal is to play on December 10th, we can't focus on December. 
we got to worry about the next game. And that's where we got to live, one day at a time in practice. Just get better, coach them up. Guys got to be focused and attentive, and we got to be ready to roll.